Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here from the Noma Athletic Club in Portland, Oregon at the 2019 SBC John Pell Memorial Tournament of Champions. Right now, starting in the court, the LPRT Challenger Division between Rhonda Rasich versus Holly Scott, the number five player on the tour for the women. Rhonda Rasich looks to get revenge for her loss to Holly at the USIR National Singles. For the IRT, and this time for the LPRT, I am Fabio Soto, bringing to you this match where Holly Scott will start it off. So this is the LPRT Challenge Division. This is the final, and we're about to get started. Holly Scott from Washington State, Ronda Rasich from Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. So if you saw what Ronda did before the beginning of the match, she kissed a dog tag right there, the military dog tag of her father, her late father, Mr. Dennis Rasich, who passed away. Skip shot there by Ronda. Holly Scott draws first blood. She's on the board. Holly Scott, a very young, up and coming player, looking to get up on the ranks on the LPRT. She's been doing really well. She won national championship this year. Making the US national team. Ronda, of course, future Hall of Famer. One of the most decorated female players of all time. So joining us at the booth for this evening is none other than the Vice President of the International Racquetball Tour Mr. Andy Callback. Andy, welcome. Good evening. Hey, Fabio. What's going on, man? Well, just excited to see some good racquetball here from these ladies. I'm excited to see this, too. This is a, um, this is a great addition to this event, the LPRT Challenge. It is. We only get to see very few tournaments a year, Andy, where you have the pro men and pro women at the same event. So we're very lucky to see this. Yeah, very, very fortunate. Um, just, just, just a note for all those at home, this... This match is actually being sponsored by um, Georgette and Chuck Blomquist, um, benefactors of the, um, of the John Pelham Memorial Tournament of Champions. We graciously thank them for, their, for all their support. So, so wanna let everybody know that uh, Rhonda Rasich got here after defeating Annie Roberts in the semifinals in Stu Strait, Holly Scott defeating local favorite Lexi York and two straight as well. So both of these ladies, you know, getting here to relatively easy matches, but you know, the record between these uh, professionally, Ronda Rasich is 40, 447 and 164. And Holly Scott is seven and 12. So an impressive, impressive record for Ronda Rasich. Well, absolutely. You know, Ronda's been on the pro tour Ronda, Ronda's debut, interestingly, Ronda's debut on the Pro Tour was in Portland, Oregon in May of 1999. So she actually debuted on tour in this club. Wow. Yep, and she's been around for, you know, obviously, you know, she's been on tour for what? That puts her on tour for 20 years, right? And she's been on the national team multiple times. A multiple time US Open winner. Rhonda is a multi-time U.S. Open winner. I believe she's won the World Championships, the Pan Am Games, the Pan Am Racquetball Championships, the U.S. Open. She has more U.S. national singles, women's titles than anyone. She's probably the most decorated woman racquetball player in the United States. Probably. I guess so. And Holly Scott, um, she's... I think she's really just kind of starting to play the tour full time this season. So she's a um, so she's a rookie on tour playing the veteran Ronda Rasich. So I understand she's being coached by the legendary Cliff Swain. Yes, that is true. Well, so let's see if she brings that kind of fire to this match. 
Especially given the fact that this is the first time they've ever played each other on tour. That I this is the first time they've never played each other. I mentioned earlier, while you after you did the introductions, that uh, they played each other in USAR Nationals this year, and uh, Holly Scott beat Ronda. But on the tour, they've never played each other. Correct. So two serving three in the headpan scoreboard. Holly Scott. So what are you looking for in this match, Andy? You, you, you know, just regarding their different styles of play, because I got to say, Ronda, in my opinion, has some of the best racquetball mechanics on tour. I've really never seen her get injured, to be honest. So I think she has very good mechanics. But what are you expecting to, of this matchup? Well, okay, so stylistically, right, Ronda is the Ronda is the shooter, and Ronda's going to shoot every ball she can possibly shoot. Ronda is also the diver out of the two. So Ronda's going to get a lot of balls, and she's going to be aggressive and play a lot of offense. To be honest, Fabio, I, haven't, I actually have not seen a lot of Holly Scott. I'm not quite sure how I would describe her game style, but... If you, um, you know, if you think about the fact that she's being coached by Cliff Swain, that should give you some idea of what you can see stylistically from Holly Scott. Well, if she's being coached by Cliff Swain, I would surmise that she concentrates a lot on her serve. Mm -hmm. But I don't see that raw power from her. I don't, I'm not seeing that raw power, though. But we'll see. So Ronda is leading 4-3 to three on the headpin scoreboard. Side out there by Holly Scott. So for Ronda, I mean, she's currently the number five player ranked on the tour right now. And one of the things that's a hit and miss with Ronda is I know that lately she's been having health issues. Her knee is being here giving her some trouble. And uh, the women have still one pro stop left. I've, I know they, they play in Laurel, Maryland. Yeah, that's coming up next weekend, I believe. Yeah. Christmas Classic? Yep. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. That's a, by the way, if you've, um, um, if you've never been to that event, the Christmas Classic is awesome. Karen Grizz does a fantastic job running that event. Um, it's a lot of fun to go to. But yeah, Rhonda's been wearing that knee brace all season. So I assume that it's, um, I assume it's more for support than it is anything else. I don't believe, I don't believe she's injured. Wow, Holly Scott with a fantastic splat shot right there. Taking the lead once more, five to four on the headpin scoreboard. Just, just bad shot selection from Holly. She tried to bring the ball down the line, but she brought it right back to, to herself. And Ronda's, and Ronda's right there. That's a that's a real easy penalty hinder call by the referee. It is. It's a point there for Ronda Race. She ties it up at five apiece. So Andy, been telling people all through this uh, broadcast this weekend. You know, very beautiful club, the Multnomah Athletic Club, and beautiful Portland, Oregon. I encourage everyone to c try to make this event next year. It's very awesome. For me, it's probably my favorite club in the United States to play in. Yeah, this is a, this, this is a great racquetball club. We've got a real, a real cozy four-court setting right here. It, it, um, you, know, you know, this show court is great to watch matches on. There's another... I don't know, 10 or 12 courts in the back of the club hiding somewhere or something like that. It, um, the club itself is awesome. It is. So Holly Scott breaking the tie here, taking the lead 6-5 to five on the headpan scoreboard. So, yeah, everybody, if you have an opportunity to make this event and play in the amateur draws, please do so. It's a yeah. great cost. It's the SPC John A. Pelham Memorial benefiting military veterans. A long relationship with the Military Racquetball Federation as well. 
Holly Scott taking the lead, 7-5 on the headpan scoreboard. You know, it's real interesting, you know, it's real interesting, Fabio, that we're here on Saturday night, um, you, know, with, you know, with three finals matches. There's this final. Immediately following this one is going to be the IRT LPRT Pro Mixed Doubles Challenge, and then 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 our IRT final between um, Kane Waslenchuk and Alex Landa. But what's interesting about that is is we're here at this event raising money for the Live Like John Foundation, which which supports our veterans. Today is also Pearl Harbor Day. Oh, there you go. So it's it. it it is a great time for us to to honor our veterans, uh, you know, you know, at a great event like this to help raise money for them. It is, and you know, there's a lot of respect. As you, if you can see, all around the court, all those military tags are for people who have served this country. Yeah, there's a hundred and forty-eight. Yeah, between this court and the two courts behind us, there's hundred and forty-eight tags on the walls. There's supposed to be 400 of them next year. Wow. All tight. All well, I'm sorry. Um, Ronda run up now 8-7. This is a pretty tightly contested match, Fabio. It is. So Ronda's leading 8-7. Game number one. Just like that. Holly Scott gets the side out. So Ron eight serving eight. Holly Scott with a drive serve. So as you said, Andy, after this match, mixed pro doubles. And after that, IRT finals between Kane Wazalanchuk and Alejandro Landa, the number one player on tour versus the number three player on tour. All tied up at 8-8. Eight, eight. Great get by Rasich. It's a nice reverse pinch by Holly Scott to end that rally. Kind of sloppy from Ronda. A couple of ceiling balls, banged one ball into the back wall. You know, a couple of sloppy shots, and Holly makes her pay for it. It's almost a packed house here, Andy. It is Saturday really night. crowded downstairs, and it's going to get um, it's going to get busier. So, so, the women, so the women playing with a pro-pen green ball, very different from the men, they play with a pro-pen HD purple ball. So if you're seeing that on the screen, you know, pro tour men and women play with different balls, both from Penn, official sponsor. Yeah, the green ball is the official, oops, that's gonna be a hinder. The green ball is the official ball of the LPRT, the pro-pen HD ball, the official ball of the IRT. Yeah. Another sloppy shot by Races as she skips that ball in. Trying to hit that ball off of her back foot. Cross court side out there by Ronda. I would say, Andy, that Ronda Races is a 
player that really has nothing more to prove. She's, oh. she's done it basically all. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything in this sport that Ronda hasn't done. She's won, she's won every major event that there is to win. She's been number one on tour. She's the number one women's player in the U.S. for a long time. Yeah, there's, yeah, there is nothing that, nothing she hasn't won in racquetball. She is, I guarantee that she is a future Hall of Famer, a first ballot. Unanimous Hall of Famer. No no question. Yeah. Absolutely. So Holly Scott taking the lead once more. Nine serving eight on the headpan scoreboard. I think the only question for us, Fabio, is how long is Ronda going to continue playing? Well, like I said earlier, uh, Andy, I like her mechanics. I mean, got to remember, Ronda is coached by Jim Winterton. And her mechanics are so good. Like I said, for her age and for her, her longevity, I really haven't seen her injured, to be honest. Like, oh, she's been out for six months. Not really. Never. Because people have to have to keep in mind it's training, yes, the physical fitness, yes, the endurance, of course, stamina, no question. But your mechanics, how you swing the ball, how you bend your knees, how you work, is part of the reason you don't get injured. You see some players get injured over time. Their technique is not accurate. And, you know, I don't want to say it's all Coach Jim Winterton, but you got to keep in mind, Coach Jim also trains Kane Wazelanchuk, and when have we really seen him injured? Like, really, out for six months. It's not that, um, that common. Yeah, two seasons ago. For a while. Oh, yeah, he, <laughs> he had the ear nope, he, nope, he had a knee injury, missed five months. Yeah, he missed a while. Yeah. Yeah, but, 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 I'll be honest, I cannot say that about Ronda. Um, no. Even... Even back, um, even back in my days of working with the LPRT, Rhonda. If there's one thing you can count, if there's one thing you can count on at every LPRT event, Rhonda's going to be there playing. Oh, no question. Regardless, no question. Regardless of how she feels, injured or not, she's a warrior, and she is going to, and she is going to be there fighting. Always is. I've seen her play in conditions. That oh, ace there by Holly Scott. What a great shot there to the right. I've seen Ronda play in inhuman conditions. Like, <laughs> like it's not like she should go to the hospital conditions. And I've seen yeah. her play. Yep. Yeah, she's a battler. There's no question. That's a great serve by Holly Scott. Wow, ace again for Holly Scott, the Washington State native, taking the lead. Her biggest lead right now, 12 to 9 on the headpan scoreboard. That's a great return by Rhonda. I'm a little surprised she didn't get a screen call out of that, but um, I don't think she wants it. But Rhonda's missing some shots that are relatively easy. And, you know, she doesn't want to keep doing that because Holly's going to take advantage. And right there, Rhonda, great serve right there. And Holly Scott seems to lose it in the glass. Well, I'll tell you, you know, Rhonda has always been a hot and cold kind of player. She, she, she either really... She either makes every shot she hits or she misses a lot of balls that she shouldn't miss. She's not, she's always been, she's always been one or the other. Never kind of that down the middle of the road consist. She's always kind of lacked that middle of the road consistency. She's either really, really hot or really, really not so hot. Well, you got to remember, folks, uh, last season LPRT played still three out of five to 11. But now this season they changed it up to play just like the IRF and the IRT, two out of three. So it's a different scoring system for them this season. And that plays a role. It does. There is, normally I would say there's a little bit of an adjustment required. There is. But for the fact that Rhonda's been on the national team for, you know, for, for, for a long, long, very long, long time. So she's accustomed to playing two out of three yeah. because that's what she plays at U.S. national events and at IRF events. So it's not foreign to her. It's not. But in the tour, it does kind of take a toll. I remember the women last season, at the end of last season, they played in uh, Sayas at New York yep. along with the men. Uh, pro stop for both of them. And uh, Ronda was beating Paola. She was up two sets to none. Mm -hmm. Two games to none. And Paola beat her winning three, four, and five. And, you know, just 
playing, just trying to score all those points, to, to take it to all in your body. No, there's no question. I mean, that, that is the... Ace for Holly Scott the, right there. The three out of five format always favors the higher ranked player. It's much harder to beat a higher ranked player three times than it is to beat them two times. Completely and that's a agree. Great, um, and that's a great illustration, right? Had they been playing two out of three in Syosset, Ronda would have won that match in straight games. No question. No question. But it didn't happen. Right. Right there, I remember Robert was having some knee issues. And right here now, Holly Scott with her first game point of this evening, 14 to 11. Holly Scott one point away here. Cross court winner, Ronda Rasic. So this is what Ronda does as well or better than anybody else on tour is playing from behind. She does that as well or better than anybody. Don't. There's a skip by Holly. Don't be surprised if this ends up Ronda 15-14. So playing from behind, like for example, Ronda is good at it. Alvaro Beltran is really good at it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Score. Oh, yeah. If, if something Alvaro Beltran loves is coming from behind victories. That man loves adrenaline. Yep. More than he should, by the way. Hashtag just a replay. So 12 serving 14 the headpin scoreboard. Ronda Race, it's two points away from tying Holly Scott. Down the line, Ronda. Yep. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. All right, so now we're at 13-14. So Ronda trying to make this one exciting. Skip shot there, Ronda. She got a set up. So here's the thing that we don't know. How well does Holly Scott play under pressure? Well, we got to see. I'm sure she's had a successful career in their collegiates. She has. High school. I'm pretty sure. Juniors. I'm sure. But this is a whole other ball game. Rhonda got a replay hinder out of a ball that she hit between her legs. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Pablo's like rolling his eyes up at his head like there's no way that could be a replay. Well, the referee clearly is uh, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Holly Scott for the match, for the game, I'm sorry. 14 to 13. Interesting shot selection Jake. there from Ronda Rasich. Skip ball by Holly. Playing under pressure. I told you this is going to be Ronda, 15-14. So Ronda holding off another game point there from Holly Scott. Second serve there for Ronda Rasich. Ouch. That's what I told you about Ronda. She's either hot or cold. That's an easy shot to make. That is an easy shot. Another skip ball by Holly off the back wall. Wow, what a great shot there by no kidding. Holly. That's a big shot. And he, I don't think she had any other shot available at her disposal. She didn't. And if she didn't roll it out, Ronda was standing right on top of it. So, another game point for Holly Scott. Can Ronda hold her off again? Yep. And she One does. More time. Wow. Holly has now had four game points so holly scott takes a timeout, and so shall we and we'll be back here on the lprt exhibition and irt live 
What keeps me going in racquetball is my family, everybody who supports me, and just the feel of a win at the end of a tournament is what keeps me going. That's all I need. Winning is something you just can't explain to somebody unless they've felt it before. You know all the hard work has paid off and you've tried so hard to get to that point and you finally do it and it's amazing. I'm Holly Scott, I play for Gearbox and you should too. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from the beautiful Multnomah Athletic Club in Portland, Oregon for the IRT. I am Fabio Soto here along with the Vice President of the IRT and the ex-commissioner of the LPRT, Mr. Andy Kolbeck. Andy, what do you think about this timeout taken by Holly Scott? Well, I think it's a good timeout by Holly. She's had four game point opportunities already. She's missed a couple of shots that, um, you know, that were pretty makeable. You know, it's you know always going to be a tough out against Ronda. Um, so, yeah, good idea for Holly to kind of clear her head, put those four rallies behind her, you know, see if she can side out and get one more crack at it. Rhonda. Wow. What a great serve return down the line for Holly Scott, putting it away. So Holly Scott with another game point opportunity here. Yeah, yeah that made it a pretty good timeout. Down the Another line, Another great as pass well. by Rasich. <laughs> you know, Ronda earlier was doing, uh, Andy, some uh, serves to Holly uh -oh. from the glass. And right there, Ronda Rasich ties it up at 14 apiece. So game point number one there for Ronda. Yep. So, so how did I tell you this was going to turn out? Well, let's see. Ronda with a setup. Holly Scott. Wow. Wow, that's a big shot. That's that gutsy. A big shot by Holly Scott. That's gutsy shot right there, Holly Scott. Her sixth game point opportunity here in game number one. Three-wall boast by Rasich. Wow. Second game point opportunity now for Rasich. Two game point opportunities to Ronda. Six game point opportunities for Holly. That serve right there. Ronda, right gate, diving get. Wow, there it is. Ronda. Game one, Ronda Rasich. You called it, Andy. So Ronda comes from behind to win this 15-14 game number one. The crowd loves it. And Andy, we'll be back here in a couple of minutes on the IRT Live. Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. I guarantee you they'll be the most comfortable sheets you'll ever own. With the Giza Dream sheets, I'm getting the best sleep of my life. I do not like my sheets. I love my Giza Dream sheets. I guarantee you the first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. 
Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now. Giza Dreams are made with the finest, most sought-after cotton in the world. MyPillow Giza Dream Sheets are available in a variety of colors and will be the softest, most comfortable sheets you will ever own. And listen to this. For a limited time, when you use your promo code, Mike will send you a second set of Giza Dream Sheets absolutely free. That's two sets of sheets for the price of one. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. For those who are just joining us, game number two between Ronda Rasich and Holly Scott. Andy, call back. What are your thoughts on game number one? Well, game number one was... Game number one was kind of um, kind of the Ronda Rasich show. Uh -huh. She let Holly get out to a lead. She came back. She let Holly get out to a lead. She came back. Holly had six game point opportunities. Ronda comes back, wins 15-14. So a little bit of drama there. I think that's a replay hinder call by the referee. Got a little bit of drama in game one. Very close game. Okay, so that was a penalty hinder, apparently. Um, and I expect to see more of the same. I mean, Ronda is, you know, this is an exhibition match. No ranking points for the players. They're, they're here to put on a show for the fans. Yeah. And I think Ronda's going to do what she does to put a show on. Well, listen, I've always said with Dean Bear on the tour that if there's someone who likes to put on a show, it's Alvaro Beltran for the men. For the women, I think Ronda Race just likes to put on a show. Agreed. She played for the crowd. Agreed. Right there, Holly Scott siding out. Ronnie, Holly Scott has a potential to actually, you know, she, she beat Ronda again at Nationals this year. She has a potential to take this into game number three. It's just a matter of if she wants it or not. Agreed. Agreed. It's just, um, yeah, it's... It's a youth versus experience thing. Holly's a really good player. Rhonda's just been doing this for a really, really long time. It's a great serve by Rasich. Another point for Rhonda. So one is serving one, the head pen score where Rhonda comes back and ties it up right now. I want a piece. Ronda with point number two there. Yep. So again, the women, um, Andy, are going to Laurel, Maryland next weekend. Christmas Classic, the last tournament of the year for them. This first half of the season for the women. They've had a busy season so far. Yeah, they've had a great. They've had a great season so far, right? They've. Um, you know, we should look. Uh, you know, we should look at their. Um, we should look at their schedule. It's a pretty packed schedule. Uh, I got to tell you, to work around the women and men's schedule is difficult enough. Um, I got to tell you because next year, February 2020, have Mexican Nationals. And for us in Mexico to decide the date for that event was really, really difficult. Yeah, the Christmas Classic is going to be their fifth event of the first half of this season. And then they, um, and then they go to, then they go to Florida in January, South Carolina in January, Guadalajara, Mexico in February, and the weekend after. Just so everybody knows, the weekend after the Guadalajara Grand Slam is the Mexican National. Wow! So busy couple weeks for the Mexican players. Busy couple weeks for then the, they're yeah. in Boston and Denver, San Antonio, Bolivia back to Mexico, and then they finish up in Overland Park, Kansas. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine events in the second half of the year. They are going to be really, really super busy. It is. Very interesting. Very much so. Ronda serving a 2-1. That's a great, it's a great backhand splat from Rasich. She earns another point. 
Up 3-1. This would be a real test for Holly, right? It is. Right, she was she was ahead in game one. She let it slip away. How is she going to come out and respond in game two? You know, Andy, we've been talking about the importance uh, on the IRT of, uh, for these professional players to have a coach with them in the professional pro stops. And some of them, you know, perform a lot better when they have a coach, someone in their corner. And you can see it with, with, with professional players. Like, for example, Rodrigo Montoya. He's a fantastic international player. Mm -hmm. Pan Am winner, world championship winner. However, he always has a coach in his corner. But he, on the pro tour, he does not. Well, here's what I think the difference is, Fabio. I think you're right. I think the coach is part of it, right? But I think that, I think that the bigger difference is at the international events, they're there with the rest of their team and there's all that team support where here at an IRT Pro Stop or an LPRT Pro Stop, you're playing by yourself for yourself. You're not playing for your team. Agreed. And I think that that makes a big difference. Agreed. Though in professional level, some players do have their coaches and sure. it does give them a certain edge. No question. There's no doubt. Having that second set of eyeballs sitting outside the court is a huge advantage. For example, Ronda Rates' inner corner has Jim Winterton. Yes. Right now. So Jim Winterton has a busy weekend. Been coaching Kane, been coaching Ronda, and some of her, his other players. Yep. Yeah, and Fran Davis was here earlier in the week coaching um, coaching Rocky and a couple of uh, couple of her amateur players. Yeah. It's a good serve there by Holly Scott, forcing Ronda to make an error, getting point number two, Holly Scott. So two serving four in the headband scoreboard. Wow, that's a what very a nice, it's a very nice shot by Holly Scott. Three four for Holly. Rana puts it away. The tentative date for Guadalajara is February 21 through 23. That is going to be an awesome event. It's a LPRT Grand Slam, so the prize money is fantastic. You got to admit, I've been to that tournament. It was a grand slam two years ago. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to be there. And it was a fantastic, fantastic event. So I expect nothing less. And the week after that one. Wow, what a great gift wow. from Rhonda. Rhonda. Reflexes. Yeah, Holly's spinning around like, where's the ball? She actually got that? Exactly. So Guadalajara again from uh, February 21st to the 23rd. And the following week, Mexican Nationals, February 25th. To the 29th. So Mexican Nationals is going to end on a Saturday night, Andy, this year. Okay. And, uh, you know, well, the thing about Mexican Nationals that I like is that you see of the top eight players of the men and women, four are Mexican, right? So right. you got to see that, you know, a really good event in Mexico, like Mexican Nationals, is kind of going to look like a pro stop. So it's going to be very interesting. I encourage everybody to, if you want to see some good racquetball in Mexico, uh, you can come down to Tijuana, come down to Tijuana and uh, see our Mexican Nationals. It's a free event, free access. All tied up, Fabio, four each. Four serving four. So the best of the best, Andy, in Mexico are going to meet in Tijuana in February. It's a nice shot by Holly. Kind of skipped that one, but she had the right idea. Ronda, Ronda with a one point lead. So if you're in the Southern California area, Arizona area, if you want to go play amateur divisions, you can do so at Mexican Nationals. We're going to have amateur divisions as well. 
not just the open players trying to qualify for the team. It's going to be a real party. Holly Scott with a great shot down the line. So four serving five on the headpan scoreboard. Yeah, this match, this match has turned into a little bit of a grinder, right? Yeah, nobody running off points. Points are hard to come by, one at a time. Both players doing a good job of siding out. They are. Want to thank Andy, all these local sponsors here. Without them, any this event wouldn't be possible. Campbell Global. Forest and Natural Resources Investments and Touchmark. You gotta say, Andy, I wanna thank all these local sponsors for making this event possible. They've dressed it up. Really awesome. Great shot there by Holly Scott. Too much power there for, for Ronda to control. So four serving six. Such a different game two right now in the game number one because uh, Holly Scott was leading most of game number one. now. Ron hasn't really let go of the lead. What do you think that Holly Scott needs to do to get back in this? Well, this is easy. I mean, you gotta. I mean, you gotta make shots, right? It's right. It's all about making shots. And what's and what's happening is is that Holly Holly hasn't found anything that's been real effective against Ronda. Now, I'm not necessarily suggesting that that's going to be easy to do. Because it's not going to be easy to find something that's going to be effective against Ronda. But she hasn't found a serve that's been very effective. She hasn't done a really good job of moving Ronda around the court. Um, and that's why, yeah, that's why they're kind of grinding points out one at a time. On the flip side, Ronda has had opportunities, but she makes mistakes like the mistake that she just made where she tried to push that ball into the corner and came up a little short. Ronda diving, of course, with a clear shot. You know, if Hollywood hold up, held up, I'm sorry, she put got an unavoidable hinder, probably. Maybe. But I tell you what. Let's show the replay right here. See Rhonda right there. She dove. She was on the floor. She was right in front of Holly. She put a, probably could have gotten that avoidable. She didn't risk it. She went, And that's what I like. Because some of the men, they would rather hold off and have the referee automatically award them a shot but not the women. They no, go for it. No, I think Holly did the right thing. I she think did. she had to play through it. She did. I, I really do. So seven serving five. Ronda Race is closing in. She's almost halfway there. Holly with that side out. You know, I got to tell you, Fabio, you know, you know, we talked about how Holly really hasn't found anything that's been effective against Ronda. Ronda really hadn't found anything that's been effective against Holly either. Not really. Not the, really. You know, the point spread between them hasn't been that far off. No. And again, another error by Holly Scott. Gonna get a setup right there, Ronda. Wow, Holly. Nicely done. Just waiting for it. Patience is key sometimes, Andy. No question. Let's 
get ball by Rasich. So six serving seven. Holly Scott within one point of reaching Ronda. Wow, what a good shot there by Holly. So Holly ties it up once more. Seven serving seven. I want to thank everybody watching on their phone and at home. Please like our posts, share our feed, make racquetball available for the rest of the world and show these amazing, great athletes. I want to say hello to people watching in Mexico. I'm getting a lot of people on the chat box. I want to say saludos a Renata y Camila que nos están viendo desde Tijuana, Baja California. Saludos Renata y Camila. Another skip by Ronda. Holly with a two-point lead now. This has been more of a, you know, this has been more of a match of who's making more, more mistakes than it is a match of who's making more shots. So now Holly is up by two. Three now. Yep. It's a nice shot by Holly. So Holly's the first one to reach double digits. R Ronda taking a timeout. So timeout taken by Ronda Rasich because this three-point deficit, I think it's a very wise timeout. And we'll take a short break ourselves here on the IRT Live. What keeps me going in racquetball is my family, everybody who supports me, and just the feel of a win at the end of a tournament is what keeps me going. That's all I need. Winning is something you just can't explain to somebody unless they've felt it before. You know all the hard work has paid off and you've tried so hard to get to that point and you finally do it and it's amazing. I'm Holly Scott, I play for Gearbox and you should too. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen for those who are just joining us. We are live from the beautiful Monoma Athletic Club in Portland, Oregon where Ronda Rasich is trailing game number two versus Holly Scott, seven to 10. So a very wise time out there, uh, Andy, by Ronda Rasich. What are your thoughts? Well, I think it was a good time out. She, um, she gave up a couple of points in a row to Holly. She was up 7-6 um, and now finds herself down 10-7. So a good time out for Ronda. Let's see if she can convert that into something positive. She needs a side out. Then she needs to get into the box and put a few points on the board. So talking about the rules, Andy, you know, the men have one timeout per game. What about the women? The women, I believe, have two timeouts. I believe they play two timeouts. So two timeouts for the women, one for the men. Yep. Not a good timeout there for Rhonda as Holly Scott scored point number 11. What a great That's serve. That's a great serve, yeah. Great serve there by Holly Scott. Point number 12. Now five points away. Is Rhonda doing the same thing as in game number one? I don't know. This one's starting to slip a little bit away from Rhonda. I mean, Rhonda's... Rhonda is known for her... That's a great shot by Holly. Rhonda is known for her ability to fight back and to pull out matches when she's down. But this... This one's getting away. 13 serving seven on the headpin scoreboard. My call on this is we're going to a tiebreaker. Right there, Rhonda. Looks like he, she heard you, Andy. All right, so if Ronda's going to come back, she's got to start putting some points on the board, Fabio. Dropping into a drive serve stance, really kind of the first time she's really kind of the first time she's really hit a drive serve serve so far. She's stuck to Z's and lobs for the most part. Oh, skips the setup. Another unforced error there by Ronda Rasich. <laughs> Don't 
Double bounce there. Seven serving 13 on the head pen scoreboard. Ronda Rasich. It's a yeah, point. That was a great serve. Ace for Ronda, much needed point to stop the bleeding. That's two in a row on the same side. So Ronda, two points there. Holly Scott, she has still has a timeout left. Don't want to let Ronda get too close, Andy. No, you don't. That was a mistake Holly made in game one. Did she learn from it? We'll that see. We'll find out. I mean, she let Ronda hang around in game one, and Ronda came back to sneak out a 15-14 win. It's 13-9. Holly needs to close. Oh, there you go. my. There's one of them. Point number 14 for Holly Scott. 14 nine. So 14 serving nine on the head pen scoreboard. Holly with game point number one here. Hopefully she doesn't give six points. Game points. And there it is. A serve. Serve. Holly Scott takes game two, 15-9. And we're going to a breaker. And when we return, Holly Scott will start serving. In game number three, remember folks, game number three is to 11 points. We will be back shortly here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from the Multnomah Athletic Club in beautiful Portland, Oregon, where Holly Scott came back to win game number two, 15 to nine, and will start game number three right now. Remember, folks, game number three is two 11 points. Holly Scott got most points, so she will start serving. For the IRT, I am Fabio Soto. And our, my special guest announcer right now is Kirti Kumar. Kirti, welcome again. Thanks, Fabio. It's 
I'm excited to be here for a LPRT match. This is a, an exciting matchup. Holly is an amazing player. Rhonda is a legend, so couldn't couldn't ask for more. So referee's about to start the match. Both players shake hands. Little fist bump right there. So Holly will start us off. So remember folks, 11 points. Holly Scott draws first blood. One serving zero on the headpan scoreboard. Right there, Rana sides out. So Rana with the serve now. I want to welcome back to the booth. I have Andy Colback. I have returned. So interestingly, coming up next is going to be our pro mixed doubles winner take winner take all match. Charlie Pratt, Dylan Reed, Rhonda Rasich, and Holly Scott. We have no teams yet. The players are going to blind draw for their partner. So we go. don't know who's playing with who. They're, they're going to do a live blind draw right before the match. So what if uh, Holly Scott ends up playing with Rhonda? Oh, well, we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen. Holly Scott dominating. Point number three for Holly. She's on a good run right now. Great Although start Although, actually, her. I think Dylan and Charlie don't want that, ha that to happen because they may not be able to beat Rhonda and Holly. I don't think so. The way they've been playing. Rhonda siding out. Straight shot right there down the line. So Rhonda races to the serve. Will she drive it? She does. Mistake there by Holly Scott. So Rhonda getting on the board. Stop the bleeding at three. Wow, Rhonda right there, cross court winner. Two easy points there for Rhonda. So what do you think, Andy, about the momentum of this game? And Rhonda won first one, 15-14, but Holly Scott a little bit more dominant in game number two. What do you think is the psychology going into game number three for Rhonda? Well, Rhonda, Rhonda has been here way too many times, right? She's had a... She's had a 20-year... She's had a 20-year pro career, right? Rhonda has been in far more tiebreakers than we could possibly imagine. What I will be curious to see, Fabio, is typically Rhonda has another gear. And, and if she can get to that other gear, then this game goes to Rhonda Rasich. If she Agreed. can't find a way to get to that other gear, which I don't think Holly has yet, because Holly's just not seasoned enough. If if Rhonda cannot get to that other gear, I think this, I think this game goes to Holly. So the referee's going to call a penalty He's hinder. He's calling a penalty hinder. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. I mean, there's no question that Holly was... There's no question that Rhonda was in the way, but Holly was going up towards the ceiling with that ball. Nevertheless. Yeah, it's 4-2 now. So it's four serving two on the headpan scoreboard. There you go, nice. just like that, Rhonda gets it back. Nice.
Short serve, second opportunity there for Rasich. The Phoenix, Arizona native. Holly turning around, taking her time. Good, good move by her. You know, don't let Ronda play fast and get momentum. You know, it's one of the things that we've been talking about, and it's just holding up your racket sometimes, you know, slowing the pace down, how it affects your opponent, because some opponent's just like, boom, boom, let's go. But you pull your racket up, it's part of the strategy, slowing the game down. Well, you know what they say, right? You can, you can, Ronda giving that one up on a two bounce get. You can always make your opponent play slower. You can never make your opponent play faster. That's true. So five serving two on the headpan scoreboard. The big forehand by Rhonda. I gotta tell you, Fabio, Holly, look, Holly looks very composed. She does, her demeanor has changed. That momentum from winning game two has certainly worked in her favor. She's been hitting smart shots, she's been making shots, she's cut down on her errors. And Rhonda has yet to find that next gear that we were talking about a minute ago. Short serve by Rasich. Holly again turns around, slowing Ronda down. And unforced error by Rasich. Holly Scott serving at 5-2. So five serving two now, Holly Scott. Good serve there by Holly. I would like to see Andy as Holly Scott scores point number six. Oh, so timeout for Ronda Race is a very wise timeout there. And we'll take a short break ourselves here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here at the Monum Athletic Club while Holly Scott, game number three, leading six to two. Rana took a timeout, very wise timeout. And Holly Scott scores point number seven. This game is slowly slipping away from Holly Scott, Andy. From uh, I'm sorry, from Rhonda Rasich, Andy. She took a timeout, wasn't beneficial, gets scored. I would like to see, Andy, Rhonda stop giving Holly so many setups. I'm, I feel like she's giving her a lot of setups.
all that was for nothing. Second serve for Rasich. Does she have another gear, Fabio? Can she, can she come back and pull this third game out? If anyone can, she can. We'll just have to see if what Coach Jim Winter told her during that timeout, if it's going to work or not. Well, you know what, well, you know what Winterton, you know what Winterton told her, right? No. <laughs> oh, I do. He said, "Quit skipping the ball." That, uh, that's all he said. He said four words: "Quit skipping the ball." That's what he told her. Got a dive get there by Rhonda. That's a smart shot there by Holly. Yeah. yeah, Holly pretty much had any shot she wanted right there. She took the easy one down the line. I thought that was a good serve. Was it a good yep. serve? Yeah, look good. That's yeah, look good from here. That's an ace serve right there by Holly Scott. Eight serving four. So Holly Scott three points away from winning this match. Down the line, Rhonda can't get a racket on that one. Holly Scott. Yep, she's looking for it though. She's, yeah, she's looking for anything right now. She is, she's in a big, big hole. And there's ace. an ace down the right side. So Holly Scott gets her first match point of the evening. 10 serving four, game number three. It seems that Holly Scott has run a race its number this year. Again, she beat her at US Nationals. Set up. The Ronda nice being more Rachel. aggressive now. I think a little too little too late. This will be a big comeback by Rasich. Oh. Yeah. You, yeah, you got to play all the way through that ball. Got to so play five. all the way through. Five don't, serving ten. Don't count on the referee giving you anything. Nope. And there's an ace by Rasich. Yep. Holly going to slow Ronda down again. Good move. Good move by the rookie Holly Scott. It's a good move right there. A rookie move by a veteran coach though. Ronda Rasich. I think if Ronda scores one more time, Holly should ask for a timeout. Oh. Ouch. 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 The, f the floor is crying on that shot. Wow. Okay. Holly Scott, match point again. Will it be another ace? She's been on fire, Andy. Oh, oh. diving for that ball. Holly Scott can't get to it. Rhonda holds her off once again. Wow. Wow, Good Holly job, Scott, Holly. impressive. Impressive. Crowd cheering for the hometown favorite. Well, kind of the hometown favorite. Kind of a hometown favorite. Yeah, kind of. She's close from here. Yeah. Ronda, big backhand by Rasich. Again, holding up. That was just not a good serve, Andy. Not a good serve. Uh, I don't think Ronda's complaining about it much. Gonna get a setup off the glass. Oh, that's gonna be tight. And she's side wall, front wall, yeah, right there. Point by Rasich. There. Wow. Six, a good shot. serving ten. 
can run to make a comeback here. Point number seven for Ronda Rasich. Now, Holly Scott should consider a timeout before Ronda kicks it into next gear. I think so. Um, um, if Holly's got a timeout, she needs to take it. Oh, that would have been a clean ace. Holly was two steps to the right. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. I know. Hashtag just a replay from the referee. Yeah, you know, that's just, that's just, that's just inexperience on Holly's part. She needs to take a big swing at that ball. If Ronda gets hit, Ronda gets hit. She needs to take a big swing. Totally agree with you on that one. If you get hit, you get hit. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Apologize later. Why but would you apologize? But because she didn't, all she gets is a replay. Another point for, well, wait, that ball's still in play. Ball's still in play. Oh, Rhonda. Wait a minute. Yeah. Referee is calling a. Oh. From, from my perspective, Andy, uh, Rhonda should have swung at that ball. She should have swung I at agree. that ball. I agree. Yeah, I don't think she was either. I don't think she was in her way. And the referee doesn't think so either. I think the referee's calling that a, calling that a pass ball and a side out. Ronda had the whole court in front of her because Ron. I think she had enough room. Ron, Ronda, Ronda thought that Holly was closer. I yep. agree to that. Yep, I think so. Safety hinder. You don't even get a safety hinder on that one. And we get a timeout, apparently. So timeout by Holly Scott, and we'll take a short break ourselves here on IRT Live. Okay, look. Well, what keeps me going in racquetball is my family, everybody who supports me, and just the feel of a win at the end of a tournament is what keeps me going. That's all I need. Winning is something you just can't explain to somebody unless they've felt it before. You know all the hard work has paid off, and you've tried so hard to get to that point, and you finally do it and it's amazing. I'm Holly Scott, I play for Gearbox, and you should too. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. Game number three. Holly Scott, once again, match point. 10 to seven. So we were right. The referee called that a pass ball. Um, Ronda wanted the penalty hinder on that last rally. The referee thought Ronda had plenty of room. Called it a pass ball and a side out because Ronda didn't swing. Holly serving, match point. Could this be it? And there it is, Holly Scott, winner of the LPRT exhibition match. Congratulations to Holly Scott, taking this in three games. 14-15, 15-9, 11-7. She came out of it. I want to congratulate Holly Scott for putting a great match against one of the greatest ones of all time. And she's 2-0 versus Ronda. She beat her earlier this year at U.S. National Singles, and she beat her again right now. She has her number right now, Andy. Yep, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the IRT LPRT Mixed Pro Exhibition Match. Winner take all, by the way, 500 bucks on the line. Winner take all. For the IRT, I am Fabio Soto. Thank you, Andy Kobach, and we'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. <laughs> 